Hello everybody. Today we're going to I'm going to read you the bully. The bully. A new girl come to the school. She was in fifth and ship class. The new girl was called Rose and she didn't look very friendly. She pulled a face at <coughs> and Rose sat next to Chip. Chip don't like her. She took his pen and scribbled on his picture. So Chip scrubbed her chip picture. Rose put Chip into trouble. She went to tell. She went to Miss May. She. He scribbled on my picture, she said. Miss May were cross with Chip. She told him off. Nobody liked the new girl. She was a bully. Everybody called him. She called everybody nasty names. She called Chip a modern mouth. And she called Biff Wolf a parrot face. Rose was nasty to Biff. She took her chips and called her a toffee nose. Biff was watching to Rose. Everyone was watching to her. Rose was nasty to, what, to Annie. She called her a goopy and pulled her hair. Ow, stop it, said Annie. Leave me alone. William was bigger than Rose, so she ran to help Annie. But Rose was a bully. She called William a dinosaur brain, and she pushed her over. Rose for a trip ear, and she wouldn't let go. Tell me a secret, she said. Go on, Chip. Don't want to tell her a secret. Go on, Mother. Motor mouth. Rose put Chip ear even harder. Tell me a secret, she said. Go on. Chip doesn't want to tell, but she told Rose about the magic key. Rose wanted to see the magic key, so so. She made Chip take her home. Let me see this key, she said. I want a magic adventure. The children went to Biff's room. Rose looked at the magic key, but it wouldn't glow. It's just an old key. It just, it isn't magical at all. The magic key wouldn't glow when Rose was holding it, but soon as Chip took the key, it was blue. It's a trick, said Rose. The magic key took the children on a new adventure. It took Rose to help con Rose. I don't like this. Make it stop. The magic key took the children to a school playground. This is just a playground, said Rose. This isn't a magic adventure. How do you know? Rose was crossed. Rose was cross with Chip. This is a silly adventure, said Motor Mouth, said Rose. The magic key is so silly. The magic key began to glow, but this time it glowed red. The magic key turned Rose into a Motor Mouth. What's happening? shouted Rose. I don't like this. You're a mouth, Motor Mouth, said Nathan. Rose turned to grab the key, but Chip threw it to William. Give the key to me, dinosaur brain, shouted Rose. The magic key began to glow again. The key turned Rose into a dinosaur brain. Help, shouted Rose. I don't like this. The children began to laugh. Give me the magic key, shouted Rose. William throw the key to William. Rose tried to grab it. Gave the gave the key. Parrot face said she shouted, but the key began to glow again. The magic key began gave Rose a parrot face. The children laughed and laughed. I don't like this, said Rose. 
it's not fair. Gave me the magic key. Well, throw the key to Madam. Give me that key! Shouted Rose. She turned to grab it, but Madam threw it to Annie. Rose got very angry. She tried it to hit. Well, but the key glowed again. The magic key began. The magic made Rose to hit herself. Ow! She said, "That's hurt." Rose began to cry. She wanted the magic adventure to stop. Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. This time, it took the children cold. Biff and Chip looked at Rose. He looked at the magic key. This key, this key is magical," said Biff. And it doesn't like bullies. Nobody likes bullies. Rose ran home. The children were glad, but Biff felt a bit sorry for her. That was a strange adventure," said Biff. The magic was different this time. The next day, two big boys saw Rose. The big boy, the big children were bullies too. They wanted Rose switched. They pushed her against the wall. Then the bunny pulled Rose's ear. William had an idea. She ran and told Miss May about Rose and the bullies. Come quickly, Miss May. Called William. Rose needs your help. Miss May wanted to help Rose. She told the bullies off. Nobody like bullies," said Miss May. "Bully is nasty. Don't bully people again." Rose was glad that Chip and William had had helped her. "Thank you," she said. She was sorry, and she had been a bully, and she doesn't bully anyone again.